literally it's like right here y'all literally the parking lot is right by the park so i'm just watching them and i decided to do a video or whatever y'all i wanted to do a video about my last video that i did because i received a comment um somebody commented y'all hold on let me plug my phone let me plug my phone up because my battery's gonna cut off my battery is low so i decided to make a video based on my last video somebody commented on my last video was like you know you should take accountability accountability for your actions um you know did you not know that you know having sex can lead to having multiple kids and da, da, da. was you that naive so and it was like um you're kind i was they said i was contradicting myself because i said that i admire my mom you know my mom um, she had just me and my brother. She went to school. She got a job. She was working, da 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 da, and all that stuff, y'all. Really, I don't have to do this, y'all, because I was thinking to myself, I wasn't even gonna make a video and do this or none of that, y'all. Because I'm thinking to myself, like Nisha, you know your own story. You know who you is. Only you and God knows the details of your story. I didn't go in detail, y'all, but I know people. You know, people gonna assume stuff. People gonna speculate, or people gonna have their own. Um, opinions on stuff you know but i'm gonna do this video anyway y'all i say this like the comment was not disrespectful they just wanted to know like was you really that naive that you know you didn't know that sex um could lead to preg to multiple pregnancies because i had of course i had four pregnancies right and let me tell y'all let me say this and she was like you know you admire your mom let me say this, y'all. It took me to get grown to look back on my life. It took me, once I got older and, and got gained sense and knowledge, it took me to get older to look back on my life and realize everything that my mom did. So when I say I admire my mom, it's because I looked back on my life and I realized everything that she did. Of course, while we are a child or we are minor, we while we are living with our parents, I don't know about everybody else, but for me, while I was um, living with my mom, I didn't realize, you know, who she was, really. I mean, I didn't realize all that she was. I didn't realize all that she did for me because I was there. It's just like when people tell, when we're young and an uh, elder tell you something right and you, you, and it goes over your head because you just think you know everything as a young adult or as a teenager. So it's like, while I was under my mom's roof, I didn't realize everything that my mama was or did for me. You know. Also, I want to say this, y'all. I, when I was a teenager, for, wait, first of all, let me say this. I have no problem taking accountability for anything, okay? I have no problem taking accountability for anything. But if, when you're a minor and nothing have been um, instilled in you, nothing as far as like relationships you know um learning learning about relationships or you know experience like nobody came to me and told me their experience with men no woman in my family came to me and told me their experiences with men or no i didn't even have no friends to tell me their experiences with boys with other boys and stuff like that yeah they probably talk about a boy like you know oh they cute da, 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 da. but nobody really said any experience you know, like what they went through with boys. So I didn't know. I was inexperienced. I didn't have experience in those areas, y'all. And I was sheltered. So, like, um, my mom was kind of strict with me at first. Then I was like, uh, um, what you call that? I'm an introvert. An uh, introvert. Is it introvert? I, I'm an introvert, y'all. So I mainly stayed in the house. I was sheltered. I stayed in the house, y'all. I didn't have many friends to go here, go there. I stayed in the house, so I didn't know much. Y'all, so I didn't really go nowhere. So when I say I was naive, I was naive to the point where, yes, I knew having sex um, could possibly lead to another pregnancy. My first pregnancy, I used protection. I still ended up pregnant. But the protection, me using protection was not even, it was, um, 
you know, my kid's father who suggested it. It wasn't even me who suggested it because I didn't even know better, y'all. Like, I literally, I literally didn't know better. And yes, going to the doctor, like when I first had my first, after my first pregnancy, you know, the doctor would tell you, you know, you should get on birth control, this and that. But at those times, y'all, my mind, I still had a childlike mind. So, and I wasn't able to self-reflect at the, those young age. I wasn't able to self-reflect and look at my life. I had a childlike mind, y'all. Like, I wasn't able to self-reflect and look at my life or look at my mom and and see, okay, I need to do this better. I, I need to, I, I, I wasn't in the right mindset to push myself, if that makes sense. Like, I had a childlike mind still as a teenager. I still was was um wasn't able to um i don't know like i caught on to life slowly i caught on to to life slowly it took me to get in my young adult years i'm gonna say like 22 23 years old to really get sense and gain sense so i back at those times i was um, I had a childlike mind, y'all. I had a childlike mindset. So I was, I didn't know the importance of sticking with birth control. Yes, after I had my first baby, I did get on birth control, but it was the one, the, the birth control that only lasted for three months. And you had to get it every three months, um, depot. And nobody pushed me to, to continue on. I wasn't responsible at my young, uh, young, um, years. I wasn't responsible enough. My mind just wasn't there, y'all. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I had a childlike mindset. There are some minor teenagers out there which deal with childlike mindsets. Especially when you are sheltered. I was sheltered, y'all. Especially when you grew up like me, grew up sheltered, and you didn't have as many friends. Or you grew up, you know, in a house and not getting out not being not getting out experiencing life not getting out being around different people and hearing different conversations i didn't have any experience i wasn't able to self-reflect and look at my life like okay nisha you need to focus on this you need to you need to get on birth control stay on birth control because you don't you know and then at those times Yes, after I had, when yes, once I found out I was pregnant with Kari, y'all, I did go and look for a job. Like, I was like, I need a job. I don't know what was in my mind that told me, like, I need a job. But it was, like, other parts of my mind where it was, like, I was just immature. I, my mind wasn't set up. Even though I had got pregnant at a young age, my mind still wasn't set up to think like an adult, if that makes sense. It wasn't set up to think like an adult. I wasn't able to self-reflect and look back and look at my life. And I wasn't able to, it was still childlike. I still had a childlike mind. And back in those times, yes, I, I did go apply for a job. I tried to get a job. I'm like, okay, I need to work. I did go apply for a job. It was like back then, I really didn't have a sense of, what I wanted to do with my future. I didn't think about my future. I didn't think about um, college or, I, I don't know. I, I guess my mind was just still childlike. My mind was still childlike. Like I still, I wasn't even thinking about goals or I'm not here to blame nobody. Y'all. I don't blame nobody. I'm just saying there's things that was not instilled in me. You know, like, I don't know. So I basically was just, once I finally got outside and started hanging outside and hanging around people, I allowed life to shape me because I didn't have much information given to me. There wasn't much information given to me to shape me, to prepare me for the world, to prepare me for relationships. There wasn't much information given to me to prepare me for relationships. And here I am, young, having kids with a man I'm not married to because I didn't know any better. Because I just didn't know, y'all. And I just didn't have that mindset. I, I had a child like mine. So it was like I was naive. I had a child like mine. 
I didn't know the importance of protecting myself from having kids. I didn't know the importance of it's like, yes, you can tell me the you can tell me to get on birth control. You can tell me to do this. But I didn't have that push. I wasn't able to push myself. I didn't have nobody pushing me to do anything. Or I didn't I didn't I wasn't able to push myself. I didn't have that mindset. But if I would have known everything I know now, y'all, back then, your girl would have been in school, all type of stuff, okay? I probably would only had one child, but I love my baby. This, but the point of my video, y'all, the point of that video was not to talk about, was not to point that I don't take accountability or I'm blaming everybody. That's not the point. The point is God wrote all of our stories a certain way because he's going to use it for a greater purpose. So yeah, y'all, so that was the purpose of the video that was the purpose y'all but i know that person that commented didn't mean no harm they was just like you need to take accountability and and, da, da, da. and i which i understand like i'm not y'all i'm not the type of person trust me anything i do wrong baby i'll be the first one to be like you know what i was wrong i'm always like i'm the type of person i'm now with the mindset that i have now Y'all, I'm always the type of person, like, I try to self-reflect. I'm always self-reflecting. I'm always checking myself on if I was wrong about something. Always checking myself, right? But, yeah, y'all, that's it for this video. The kids, me and the kids finna go get something to eat or whatever. That's it for this video. Hopefully, y'all enjoy this little rant. I don't know. But I just want to try to understand, yes, your girl was naive, okay? I, but trust me, I can take accountability. I know I laid down and had all for my kids. Trust me, I'm not ashamed, baby. Okay? But the purpose of that video was to talk about God creating our stories for a greater purpose. Oh,